Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we want to turn off and on, well on of course and then, and then off and externally, not turn it off and then on. Yeah? Turn it, first we turn it on and then off. Okay? So first thing we need to do is we need to take care about the hardware. Okay? So here I have already prepared this a little bit. Yeah. So we have we are using a breadboard. You we are using an, LED, an one LED. Well, I'm using a green one. It's your choice. Then we need a resistor to limit the current, and then we need a bunch of cables to connect the Arduino to the to the LED. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the LED here. So the long side I will simply use here at 30. Hmm does not really matter, also I have to say. Yeah. And it also does not really matter if the, if the resistor is before or after the LED. Well, I'm using it after and I will connect the resistor, connect the resistor simply to, to minus. See, this is minus now. Yeah. I have to connect the ground, ground connection. Yeah. Here I'm using G and D somewhere. I will bring the ground to my minus side. Good. And well, I will also use 5 volt. Even now it's not really necessary. Yeah? We'll bring 5 volt to here. Yeah? So here we have now plus 5 volt and, and ground. Yeah? So we have 5 volt voltage difference in between. And well, if I am connecting from here to here, yeah, then I should see if I plug my Arduino, I should immediately see that this is lit up. Let's see. Ah, bright. Yeah, bright. Good. Looking good. Yeah. Yes, it also sees the camera. Yes. See, it's lit up. Unplug it. Off. Good. Yeah, this is simply because uh, this will deliver 5 volt and 5 volt, 5 volt will make this light. Okay. So all I have to do is select one pin as an output. I will use pin number 2 here. Yeah. And now whenever pin number 2 is delivering 5 volt, this shall lit. Yeah. And whenever pin number 2 is not delivering 5 volt, this will remain black. Uh, or dark. Oh. Actually, our hardware setup is finished. We'll start the programming. Okay, so start Arduino IDE. We're starting up with the last use program. This is nice because actually we want to have the same functionality. Okay. We want to have it pretty much the same, but instead of the LED built-in, we want to use our external LED now. Yeah? But we have to write a digital output, right? And so on. So I will just save this under a new name, save as. Yeah? I will use here now three, yeah? blink, ext, external, save. Good. So actually, I already told you I really like those compile time constants, so I'm going to define one, define, and I will use LED pin, huh? the pin number of the LED, and we've set this to 2, 2, huh? LED pin is now 2, okay, and actually the only thing I need to do is to replace all LED built-in with this LED pin, huh? Because it is an output, it shall be an output, it's happening here. Yeah? It shall be turned on, it shall be turned off, it's happening here. Yeah? So, upload, book, and see what is happening. Big, uploading and blinking. See how easy it was? Yeah? Just use a different pin number and if you put the pin number on a, a compile time constant, you're not wasting any memory at all. 
Yeah? So let's make it a little bit smaller or not that fast, 500 milliseconds. Download. Yes, blinking, so, uh, blinking slower. Huh? That's actually pretty nice. Yeah? By the way, you could also use here instead of zero, you can also use true and here false. So also booleans are recognized, download it, upload, upload it, yeah? still working the same. So you can we use true or false, or you can even use here high and low. This is also possible. It doesn't really matter, it's just the same result. Yeah? Okay, so what you could try is simply to plug in a second LED and the second LED shall, shall be light exactly vice versa than this one. Okay. This, this would be a, a good example, then you can extend the program in a way that you see how this shall look like. So meanwhile we know what, how to control a digital output. Next time we start to deal with digital inputs. We will also discuss the hardware, we will use a button which we want to read in and then we will see how this is working. Okay? So next topics, yeah, digital input. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.